Good morning. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Judy with uh, Janie Homestead. Um, today's video is different. It's not a recipe. I joined in a uh, junk journal collab with uh, a channel called Pam's Treasures on YouTube. And she's my sister, by the way. And she wanted to do a, a collab, and so she put it out for everyone, who anyone who wanted to join it and participate. And so I thought, oh, I'm going to do that. And I haven't done any like step-by-step -step stuff because... All I have is my phone, that's what I record with, and it's, I haven't figured out how to, to do it with crafts yet, where I can, you know, actually um, have a good video with that. But, um, but the, the collab is hashtag fall junk journal collab, is what it's called. So if you want to make a, a fall junk journal, any style you want, then you need to put hashtag fall junk journal either under my video or under Pam's Treasures video. To, and that way everybody can see it. So I'm just going to show you a flip through of mine of what I did. Um, and it, this is just for me. I'm not selling this or giving it to anybody. This is just for my personal use. So let's take a look at the journal. Okay, here's my journal. I just use a regular notebook that I already had. It's got the, the little uh, spiral binding on it. And then I just kind of covered it to for my own way I wanted so but this is just a piece of fabric and I've just tied it around because it it got a little chunky from what the things that I did to mine so so the cover I just covered with scrapbook paper and then glued on some of this uh, antique looking uh, lace trim and then this part here is actually I glued a card behind it like a playing card for, for sturdiness and then this is just it's really not watercolor paper it's just white scrapbook paper that I actually watercolored drew and watercolored some pumpkins and leaves and stuff and then cut them out and glued them on there so that's that's the cover okay let's see if I can do this the inside I just found this in a magazine it is by Tennyson it says the woods decay the woods decay and fall the vapors Weep their burden to the ground. Man comes and tills the soil and lies beneath. And after many a summer dies the swan. Which is kind of a strange poem. I don't know. But I liked it. And so I thought I'll put it in here. And then over here I just I started using some of all of my scrap paints that I had left over. That I need to use up. So I just went through pages. And uh, well actually I glued. I glued like two or three pages together in this notebook. To give it sturdiness. Because it's it was thin paper, and then I used my paints and did just like marks and painting like that, and then I glued on. This is scrapbook paper. Uh, this is a mushroom that I drew and uh, watercolored. So I did that and then made this into a pocket. So the next page, the next page. Let me see if I can page. This next page I just left. Um, as paper, you know, as the way it's supposed to be. And then I found another poem. It's uh, by Helen Hunt Jackson. By all these lovely tokens, September's days are here with summer's best of weather and autumn's best of cheer by Helen Hunt Jackson. And then the next page. This is this is really hard with just your phone. I need to, if I'm going to start doing more junk journals, I need a better system. But this one, I just did more paint and then cut out leaves. And then did a pocket over here in the corner. And then this one, I did a watercolor on uh, paper and wrote it and had another poem. I just went on Pinterest and found poems. More paint for the background. This one, um, just different paints and then drew leaves and cut, you know, painted them and cut them out. And another little air watercolor doodle. Okay, and this side, another poem by Emily Bronte. Every leaf speaks bliss to me, fluttering from the autumn tree. I just think that's so pretty. And then I took just cardboard and, and, and uh, cardstock and made a tag. So there's that one. And then over here, more paint and more watercolor you know pumpkins doodles and then this page uh, there's a lot of writing space for in here for me to write stuff down too 
This one is by Raquel Fran Franco. And the sun took a step back, the leaves lulled themselves to sleep, and, autumn's, and autumn was awakened. Now, I like this page because it has um, more of the mushrooms stuff that I did and then more doodles. I like to do watercolor doodles. It's fun. This one, um, I just cut out a circle with scrapbook paper and uh, car card stock, so it's kind of stiff, and it's actually a little pocket you can put something in there. And then just watercolor that. Punched a hole and put a little twine in there. Another poem. Listen, the wind is rising and the air is wild with leaves. We have had our summer evenings now for October eves by Humbert Wolf. And this over here is actually a napkin that I, you know, decoupaged on there. And then one of the mushrooms that I drew. Okay, this next page. Autumn leaves don't fall. They fly. They take their time and wander on this only chance to soar. Delia, Delia Owens. Okay, and then this page, I did a belly band and then made another tag just to write. I also did like distressing around the paper so because it's white, you know, white paper. Okay, this one, I did another circle and then just a little tag to write on. This poem says, I can smell autumn Dancing in the Breeze, The Sweet Chill of Pumpkin and Crisp Sunburnt Leaves by Ann Drake. And then this, I found this in a magazine, this little uh, hedgehog. And then I just put some book paper behind him. Okay, this next page, it's another tag that I made. I actually sewed around it with my sewing machine. I like to do that once in a while. And this poem says, Autumn flings her fiery cloak over the sumac, beech, and oak. Susan Lindreth. And then this page just has some more paint background and watercolor leaves. And then this one has, um, it was actually off of a Cricut uh, backing from paper that I got, so I just glued that on there and then another circle pocket and uh, a tag. And then this page over here, one of my little doodle girls, um, she's just, I just used printer paper with her. And so I just, you know, drew her out and painted her with watercolors. And uh, she's kind of quirky looking. <laughs> and then a pumpkin here and then more, you know, paint and a book page behind that. Okay, now this page is a piece of ribbon that I glued on there. And then um, just a cardboard, piece of cardboard tag. And then this here is a pumpkin that I drew and uh, watercolored. And just a glue on there, glued on there. Okay, this next page is another another tag, and I probably would use like a gold pen or something on this one because it's dark. It's dark paper. But this poem says, "Autumn is the time when nature takes her watercolor to the trees." By Laura Jaworski. I thought that was pretty. And then this one over here is that more of that napkin. Uh, one one ply napkin with paint. And then this one here is another uh, card tag that I made, but I made it into a pocket. This poem says, In the hazy days of summer's end, when the air's still warm and the green near spent, when the days grow short and the evenings tall, then you feel in a whisper fall. And that's by the same girl, Laura Jaworski. And then over here's another tag. The paper, dark paper. Okay, this one just has a poem on it. Autumn, the year's last loveliest smile by William Cullen Bryant. And then this is just a piece of brown, uh, like thin, uh, it's not printer paper, but I can't remember if it's like packing paper. Maybe it's packing paper. And then I just glued some leaves on and some fabric and just some, something to write in. And then this one is another, uh, just a writing page with some fabric at the top. Autumn is a second spring when every leaf is a flower. Albert Camus. And then this one over here is more painting and I just had, I, I like to doodle a lot and so what I do is I, I'll do watercolor or color pencil and then I'll just cut them out and I'll save them for whatever, whatever I want to use them for. So these are just some of the mushrooms that I did. And then this is another, another tag to write on. Okay. Next page, another tag, a pocket, a corner pocket. 
This poem says, Autumn carries more gold in its pocket than all the other seasons by Jim Bishop. And then this page is another watercolor doodle, which was a pain to cut out. So um, next one I'll have to think, think that through. But I liked how it looked, so I thought I'll put that on there with the book page and then some more paint in the background. And then this is another corner pocket. I don't have a tag in it yet, but another corner pocket. This poem says, No spring nor summer beauty hath such grace as I have seen in one autumn face by John Den or Denae. And then this page has a pheasant. It was out of a... Um, oh, somebody sent me this in Happy Mail, I believe. Yeah, it was, they cut it out of a paper magazine or something. I don't care. It feels like paper, not like magazine. And then a pumpkin that I did and then some paper at the top. And then the last poem... It says, Come little leaves, said the wind one day. Come down to the meadow and we shall play. Put on your dresses of red and gold, for summer is past and the days grow cold. Dancing and leaping, the leaves went along until winter called them to end their sweet song. Soon fast asleep in their earthy beds, the snow lay a coverlet over their heads. And then in the last page, I just, I just glued on a piece of scrapbook paper in one of my doodles. And then the back has the same kind of paper. But it, it was fun. I enjoyed it. Um, usually I make journals for someone else, so I didn't take a very long time doing this one. I Usually I would add tabs or little trinkets or anything like that, but since this is just for me, I'm, I think, ah, I'm just going to make it as the simplest as I can and uh, go from there. And I could take the little... Um, what do you call those? Paper clips and put little dangles or something on there. But but I probably won't. I'll probably this is just for me. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you go to Pam's Treasures on YouTube. And uh, if you're joining in on this scrapbook or scrapbook, on this junk journal collab, then I hope you go check her channel out and give her a thumbs up and a like and subscribe. Uh, she's almost to 500, so she's she's getting there. And uh, I hope you liked my video. Give it a thumbs up. And uh, subscribe if you haven't to haven't. Oh my gosh, I can't talk today. Subscribe if you haven't. And I will catch you on my. I have some videos coming up with recipes, so stay tuned for that. And I will catch you in my next video. Bye.